Time now for Better Money, and I'm Kara Sundland. Joel Johnson is here with us. He's a certified financial planner and managing partner at Johnson Bernetti. He's here today to help us understand some of our concerns about an election year, a presidential election year that is coming up this fall. Here we go again, right? Every right. four years we have this, This the election comes up. And, you know, it's interesting. I travel a lot. Here in this state, we don't see all the ads, but the ads are just brutal when you yeah. go into these swing states. It's it's unbelievable. And, you know, it's unfortunate because I think they're all fear-based mm. and, you know, not taking one political side or another, but it's just, it's trying to get people stirred up. And we yeah. have to be really careful, of that, especially people that are in retirement or getting close to retirement. Let's, let's put a filter on that and figure out, hey, what's real, what's not, and what do I need to be concerned about when it comes to my financial? Financial health. Right, and you have some insights that you can really help us with for this political season. Number one, everyone can maybe take a sigh of relief because you say no politician wants to cut Social Security benefits. Yeah, no politician wants to touch Social Security. And part of this is the problem. It should have been, you know, there should have been some fixes a while back. But right now, no politician wants to touch it. People that are over 65 that collect Social Security vote way mm. more than people that are under 65. Mm. And so, unfortunately, no politician wants to, to touch it, to fix it. But at the same time, that's fortunate for those of us that are getting close to Social Security age. I do not think we have to worry those problems promises have been made, and I believe they will be kept. Okay, but the markets don't like uncertainty. That's your second point. So, uh, you know, I guess, what are we going to, how does that affect us in the next six months or so? Yeah, it's interesting, and again, one of these things that's unfortunate, but at the same time, fortunate for the financial markets is the financial markets like predictability and stability, and so they kind of like this split power situation where you have, you know, Congress uh, and, you know, basically the Senate and the House held by one party and then the president held by a, a, another party. And that way you've got a little bit of a standoff and there won't be too many radical changes. So, you know, the markets for financial stabi stability yeah. and so on, it's better for, for a, a standoff. Could we see some changes in tax policies? Yeah, we sure could. In fact, we're almost certain to. The Trump tax cuts that went through in 2017 will sunset in 2026. So we'll go back to the old tax rules unless something is done. And almost certainly whether P political party wins this election, Kara, something will be done. Biden has already said he wants to kind of attack that higher tax bracket, raise taxes for the for the higher income earners and so on, and change some capital gains things. Trump has to get some fixes done, even if those tax cuts are to continue. And so right now you're advising your clients to take advantage of existing low tax rates? Yes, they're almost certainly to go up and so we should be looking today at our retirement savings, how we're going to be taxed throughout our lifetime, how do we reduce our lifetime income taxes, not just for this year, yeah. but sometimes we want to pay more this year so we can pay less over our lifetime. All right. You have an offer. It's called Election Uncertainty. You can get your free copy by going to BetterMoneyTV.com and learn a lot more about what's coming. Yeah, and we want everybody to get a copy of this book, Election Uncertainty. It's really important that people get the information so that they can have a better retirement. Joel, thank you so much. Thanks, Kara. That's Better Money.